that in a minute. We can fix that real fast. I am the voice. Um, I am the voicemail king. Fifty percent or more of my voicemails call me back. Wow. Yeah. yeah. All voicemails. Okay, voicemails good, but you got to leave. You got to be creative in voicemails. Guts is about psychology and being a thespian and a good actor. You've got to make it so when they get off that, when they hear that message, whoa, I got to call him back. Oh my god, you, you. It's the way. It's the what, what you say, the content, and and the way you say it. Let's go back. Let close me on that deal, and then we'll go to role plays. Close me on okay. that deal. I gave you three to. I gave you about three. Needs and greeds. I'm at a seven or an eight. You've got to find or or create. If we find needs, create needs, or exacerbate needs. We make them worse. You've got to get, if you really want to crush it and get a high close ratio, you got to get at least six needs and greeds and and blend them into stories. And and then then you close them. Suppose hey, you know you say something like, "Gee, Kyle, you know you get, your wife's upset. She's not sleeping at night. The evictions, the falling out of escrow. Um, you just want this behind you." I, I have friends, same situation. Oh my gosh! If we could solve this today, um, are you comfortable? Are you comfortable doing a deal today? If I make you, a, I, I you know I need price or terms. You know that about me. So uh, would you like all cash? Or would you like a higher price but terms and you're going to have to wait a few years? What's good for you? I need my number, my price. You need your – okay, well, well, let's work on that. Boom. But first got to get me in this higher emotional state. Okay? That's your job. You're a psychologist now. You're Dr. Kyle. So get me get, – okay. you got three. I told you the eviction. I told you a fellow of escrow. Um, what else? I gave you something else. Um, I'm just sick of rental. Oh, rentals and everything. Now you got to bring up a couple more things. How's your wife feel about it? Sleeping? Anything you can think or create and blend in a story. Then you close me. Go ahead. Well, Claude, thank you very much for giving me that information. Um, I know it's tough on you dealing with tenants and stuff like that. But how are you feeling? Is it stressful? Oh, it's horrible. You know, oh, my wife and I were just talking about this property all the time, and these ten now we're writing out checks. You know, it took six months to evict this guy and we didn't get any money. Now, then we thought we had it sold with the realtor another three months. We've had nine months of no income on this property. And, you know, when Claudia behind me writes those big checks every month, she is not a happy woman. Nope. And, you know. Well, you know, it's, it's tough nowadays. Tenants are tough nowadays. And then maintenance and repairs. I know it's tough. I know it's probably tough. And I know it's probably stressful for you and your wife, um, you know. I'm a guy. I talk to people every single day, and um, you know, I help a lot of people out. The last guy I helped out, he had a tenant, and you know, it wasn't really going his way in court. I mean, it seems like nowadays the tenants they have more rights than the owners. Oh, you're, it's amazing. Uh, you know, it, it's crazy. I I give them a nice place to live. We have a contract. All he's got to do is pay the rent on time and not misuse the property. And all of a sudden, I'm the bad guy because I want to get paid. And it took me six months to get this guy and the attorney. I had to pay attorney three thousand dollars to get him out on top of the six months and no rent. I mean, I'm just wow. you know you know where I'm coming from. So I just want to you were you were real polite. You were real nice to my wife and myself. I remembered that. So I I'm, I'm glad I kept your number. Well, Claude, I'm here. I'm here for you to help you out. See, um, see, see how good that see how good that sounds, man. It's right here. You're crushing it. That, that, beautiful. You know, you're a good guy. You're a great guy. And um, I'm here to help do everything, you know, I can do. Um, I mean, you know me. I Yes, I am an investor. Yes, I am here. But I'm also here. I also can help you out in any way I can possible. Um, you know, I, you know, I'm not going to live in the house. So you do know I need price or terms. Um, but I'm very flexible. Um, and I think we can do good business together. You know what I mean? Let's take this off your back. I know it must be stressful. You know what I mean? I know you must be worried about this. Okay, time out. I want you to use a word here. It's a very important word. Write it down, in fact, if you've got a pad in front of you. This is, this is the crush it, killer, make you a millionaire word of the day. Imagine. Imagine. Just write imagine. Claude, I know what you're going through. Imagine and then change your tone. Change your, slow down your voice, lower your voice a little. Claude, imagine for a moment, this house is gone. We can take care of it before, by may, maybe in 15 to 30 days, 30 days, let's say. 30 days from now, you have a check. This, the mortgage is paid off. 
Um, the, this, you, this, you'll never have to deal with tenants and toilets again. You and your wife aren't arguing about money. And uh, it, how would you feel about that? Can you imagine that for a moment? Yeah. Would that, make, would that make you comfortable? Would that, would that give you a fresh breath of air? Would that just relieve a lot of stress? Definitely, yes. Yes, it would. Yes. See, off the role play, what am I doing? Lead me down that path. Well, do you see what I'm doing? The words and the way I'm using my words and the focus. Do, you, do I have your intense focus when I'm saying these things? Are you listening to every word I'm saying? Yeah. Everything. Where do you think that's going? Real deep, in, real deep inside your subconscious. And this is giving permission to this, your conscious. And this is where, this is where you get yes. This is where you go to the bank. This is the, this is, this is sales. This is sales 2018. This is, uh, nobody's teaching this. It's the way you use your words and you apply the gut system to that. So let me hear you do that to me. Use that word, imagine. Well, let's just imagine. Let's imagine this heavy weight is off your back. You know, let's sit here and let's think about no more tenants, no more bills, no more repairs. I'm here, Claude, and I can help you. No more stress, let's no just, more bills. Let's, man, you saw, man, let's just do this. I owe a hundred on it. It's worth 300. It needs about, up, I think two to five grand of repairs depends. I don't know, different contractors. I just want to give, give me a fair price and I'm, it's sold. You know what, Claude, let's... I mean, you know me. You know I need terms or price. Sounds like you want price. Yeah, I just, I I just want to – I don't want to uh, – no offense. I just want to get rid – I want this out of my life, man. Now, time out. What, where, where, on a 1 through 10, what am I on the Claude barometer right now? I think you're about a 7, almost 8. I think I'm more like a 9 and a half. It's okay. It's subjective. What, then the barometer is about – the barometer is about EQ, emotional quotient. On a one through ten, I could care less. On number one, five, have some interest. Eight, nine, ten, I'm like, let's just do this. Isn't that what I said before? Yeah. I'm in eight, nine, ten land. Yeah. It's just subjective. I see myself as a nine and a half. You still see me as a seven. Take me to a ten then. Say something that'll take me to a 10 so that I say, yeah, let's do this. Ask me a quick, Claude, go back to the imagine again. Go over maybe three to six of the needs and greeds and say, Claude, what would be the, uh, what, what's your best price to get cash here so we can get this out of your life? You and your wife can have peace of mind. Well, let's get this done, man. You know, something like you know that. What? Go ahead. You know what, Claude? Let's imagine this property is gone. No more bills. No more tenants. No more wife stressing. Mm -hmm. You guys can get a great night's sleep for once. Sorry, Amber alert. <laughs> Sorry. Claude, let's just imagine this property is gone. No more stress, no more bills, no more you and your wife thinking about this property. I would gladly take this property off your hands right now. Um, you're a great guy. For you, I could do it for 150. Okay. 150, what? I could take this okay. property. Uh, that was good. Why don't you ask me first before you give a first dimension price rule? How much? Why don't you ask Claude what would be the best price you could give me today? Then you negotiate down from there. Don't start at one. He might have been wait. He might have wanted to give you 125. You just said 150. He's going inside. Yippee! I got 25 more than I was going to give him. So you just lost $25,000. First dimension price. But you can only go once around because if you say, what's your best price? I don't know. What's your best price? You, if you go back and forth, you lose that moment. You lose that 8, 9, or 10, and you go down to a 4 or 5 because now it's abrasive. So just ask once, and if he says he doesn't know, then I give a price. Amen. I love a smart client. God, why don't I? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>